And that brings to things that can be done right now. As I'm sure you know, there's a campaign on campus, I think student-led mostly, to uh, divest from fossil fuels. Uh, personally, I think that's a very good idea. I know the counter-arguments, and I think we can accept the counter-arguments as accurate. There's no, no reason to uh, reject them. They're accurate, but the problem is they're irrelevant. Uh, the counter-argument is uh, it would be, uh, <laughs> and my own feeling is that those who are involved should take this stand. So one counter-argument is it'll be costly. But if MIT as an institution tells the world we're not going to stop the race to the precipice because we co it might cost us. What are we telling people? We're telling them, don't bother shifting your light bulbs from you know, energy uh, using to lead. Don't bother cutting down on your fossil fuel use. Don't uh, stop heating your homes uh, too high and so on uh, because uh, we don't care. We're not going to accept anything, any um, any cost to us, so why should you accept any cost to you? That's basically telling people, let's race to the precipice faster. Uh, another uh, argument is that uh, if, you, if MIT doesn't invest, somebody else will, which is perfectly true and totally irrelevant. Uh, the purpose of divestment is not to injure ExxonMobil. Uh, they're not going to care. It's to make, it's symbolic, it's educational. It's telling the world that this institution, which it's supposed to it does have a reputation and should live up to it as being a center of science, uh, understanding, uh, integ moral integrity, and so on. We're telling the world, look, you better pay attention to this. It's very significant and important. And I, my own feeling is that those arguments out, the, the counter arguments seem to me essentially irrelevant, not wrong, but irrelevant. And I think it's one of many important steps that have to be taken and urgently if we're uh, to survive, which is by no means a certainty.